Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to build a sentiment analysis prediction web app. Okay, it's going to look just like this when you're done. And we're using Streamlit Framework. Only one page of code when we deploy it. Okay, import these libraries. Load the TensorFlow uh, data set. Split them into taste and train. And don't forget supervised equals true. Import your tokenizer with strips at a punctuation. Followed by pad sequences. Put the training labels on there. Don't forget that. And then your vocab size, 100,000. Embedding DM 16. Max length, 1,200. Post. And don't forget your OV token. Very important. Okay. Tokenizer equals right up there. Remember? And then the word index. And then fit the training sentences. We're going to do uh, the same for the pad sequences for the training and test. Now let's get to the neural network. Dense for after the embedding. The embedding is the first layer. Drop out a 5% flatten dense one because it's binary. Activation sigmoid because it's binary. Loss is binary cross entropy. Optimizers atom followed by metrics of accuracy. Model fit. The training labels and training padded and the validation of course. Now look how it trained. Very good. Only do it at four iterations. Don't do it at two. Okay. Review pred. This is our little string we're gonna pass. Tokenizer two sequences followed by pad sequences. Predict the padded. Then we're going to do a little uh, Python there. The len of the movie review. Now look how it scored. It, it, now look at, because remember, move the decimal point over 2%, I mean two spaces, you get your actual number of percentage. And uh, here's the thing. Um, uh, you'll see uh, when we deploy it, there's a slight change in prediction. Of course, uh, we'll get to that in a bit. And um, one more thing. You see how it, uh, it is very accurate, then at the same time, it can misunderstand. Although when it predicts, it, uh, you'll see the prediction. Let me show you. This one is 28%. This is more of a neutral, more of a on the good side. As you can see, the prediction right here was uh, 56% when it was 28, when it was rating it pretty low. Now, uh, save your model as an H5 file. Don't forget that. And then download it. And then remember, if you use your Google Colab, TensorFlow is pre-installed. Now, let's go to the app PY. Don't forget to... Put your model.h5 right there. Your requirement text. Here, let's get into that. All this just as follows. Don't do any versions because it'll do an outdated version. And then your sh file. This is not necessary. It's necessary on certain platforms. Although we're deploying to render, this is necessary in sh file. The slug size is too big for Heroku. You don't need a proc file because we're not deploying to Heroku. Now let's go to app.py. Okay. As you can see, we loaded our model, Streamlit. These, this is the title. And then we're writing this, load model, and then the text, and then uh, review. Right there. Tokenizing text, and then we import all that from the other uh, from the other notebook. Remember, because when somebody types it in, we still gotta tokenize it and do pad sequences as well. And then we gotta predict the pred padded and new val equals string val, and then the subheader, as you'll see, is going to explain our prediction. Okay. And then just like how it worked on the other notebook. Right here. 
string output. Same thing right there. Okay, as you can see, this is not too much code to follow. Okay, now you're going to sign up for render, and you're going to sign up for the standard plus or the standard. I recommend the standard plus because there's three gigabytes. Okay, and then it's very simple and straightforward. When you sign up and you give them your card information, it's only like a dollar a day. Anyways, guys, you're going to get to one question. Your start command. And then this is going to be when you're starting your web app and you connect it to GitHub. Be sure to connect it to GitHub. This is the only way for CICD and everything else and everything it to, for it to work. Okay, do streamlit.runapp.py. Now, if you guys uh, change your app file to another name, Streamlit Run, whatever you named it to. Don't forget that. Okay. And uh, this is your website, whatever you name it, when you sign up for the web service. Don't forget that. Okay. Now, as you can see, the other prediction, right? The one that said it was 28 when this one was more accurate. Because, like I explained, there's a problem uh, with machine learning and AI when deploying. Sometimes there's model drift. And then I'll show you guys in a second what I mean. Okay. Let me predict one. Okay. I love this movie. It was so funny. Okay. Let's try the same prediction. Oh, me, uh, let me delete something that I don't want to confuse it. Okay. And watch it. 61%. When, when, what was it over here? It was 88. So it's a little off. It's still in the positive label because if I, because let me show you on the GitHub, uh, we're returning the range. Now I could have done, you know, if greater than five, then, uh, you know, tell it to uh, streamlet write. But I decided to do it this way. And your streamlit header, remember that. You can name it whatever you want. Just like you can name the title and streamlit write whatever you want. These are just for show when it's taken a while. And don't forget this right here. Because let's say I type in whatever, it's not going to work. If I don't tokenize and do pad sequences. And uh, don't forget, do not do the standard plus when you do this and do not try and deploy to Heroku the slug size is too big it won't okay so as you can see this project should not take you long at all okay Stay tuned. Next time we're going to build a convolutional neural network. And then I'm going to deploy something, but most likely on SageMaker or Google Cloud. Stay tuned. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe.